My name is MC Dejne Clark, and I'm a yoga instructor with the town of Newton Comstock. Here to share some yoga with you today. So let's start seated with your legs crossed, one in front of the other, hands on your thighs. Take a deep inhale and lengthen through your spine. As you exhale, pull your belly towards your back. You're invited to close your eyes and to take a couple of breaths here, maybe a few breaths. Taking a moment to notice how the body feels today. Breathing through your nostrils. And bringing your breath, bringing the prana to any place where there may be some tension or discomfort. Just notice it, what is there today. As you continue to breathe, see if you can lengthen your exhalation. Maybe bring your awareness to how you're feeling emotionally today. Let's take a couple more deep breaths in and out. Very good. And today we'll start on our back. So moving on to your back, starting with your knees bent, release the shoulders down, and as if you've fallen out of the chair, bring your shins parallel to the floor. Flex your ankles, inhale here, and as you exhale, engage in your core without flattening your low back. You'll keep the angle between your calves and your thighs as is. And as we exhale, we'll lower the right heel down towards the ground. Inhale the leg back up and exhale, same thing with the left. Inhale the leg. And then let's bring the arms into play here. So arms perpendicular to the floor, fingertips pointing towards the sky, shoulders down. Inhale here and exhale, activate your core, and then let's do four more each leg of those. Inhale here, exhale, lower right heel down, inhale, bring the shin back, exhale, left side. Three more like this, right leg down, inhale, bring it back up, exhale, left, bring it back up, right. Make sure you're breathing with each movement. Very good, and one more each side, right leg down, tap the heel, and left leg down. We can continue as is, or we can engage with the arms now. We'll play a little bit with our brain, so as we lower the right leg, we'll lower the left arm towards the ground. You can also extend through the leg for a little more sensation into your core. So exhaling, right leg and left arm moves towards the ground and you bring it back on the inhale and let's do the other side and we'll do five each side. So exhale, right leg, left arm, inhale, bring it back, exhale, right arm, left leg, inhale, bring it back, three more. Exhaling, as you extend, as you exert and inhaling to bring it back. Right leg, left arm, right arm, left leg, and two more. Again, you can always go back to knees, keeping the knees bent as you tap the heel down. Last one, right arm, left leg, bring back, coming back onto our Upside, ups, upward, upside down plank pose. Right, inhale here, and this time as you exhale, maybe both arms, both legs at the same time. Inhale, bring it back, or you can go back to one leg at a time. Two, and we'll do ten. So if you're doing single leg, single arm, you can do five each side. Four. Five. You can also lift the leg straight up and exhale to lower and 
and two more like this. So now our core is nice and activate. Very good. We'll bring the knees to our chest. Grab a hold of the back of your thighs and roll yourself to seated. Very good. From seated, let's move on to our hands and knees. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Inhale here and as you exhale, lift the hips up and back for downward dog. From downward dog here, take a few breaths, bending one knee and then the other, stretching the back of your legs, saying hello to your hamstring. Very good, and when you're ready, take a deep inhale, float the right leg up, and then as you exhale, step it between your hands. We can do all of this from hands and knees, and I will demonstrate it next round. From here, take a deep inhale, circle your arms up, lift your gaze, and as you exhale, release the hands down. Right knee beside left knee. You can exhale your way into downward dog, or you can stay into hands and knees. Inhale, stretch your left leg up and back, and step it forward to the top of your mat. Inhale into your lunge, and exhale, lower the hands down, step the left knee back, and this time we'll make our way onto our belly. We'll do a little bit of Shalabhasana variation. And we'll challenge our brain with this move as well. So let's take our hands onto our sacrum, palms facing up. Ten toenails onto your mat. Inhale, peel the head, neck, and chest. Very good. Stay here. And on your next inhale, reach your right arm forward and yield your left leg. Very good. As you release the arm and the leg back, turn your right cheek to the ground. Inhale, float your left arm, right leg, look forward. And as you exhale, release left arm, right leg back and turn your left cheek down to the ground. We'll do three more on each side. Inhale, right arm, left leg, lift the head. And exhale, lower the right arm, lower the leg, turn to the ground. Inhale, left arm, right leg. And exhale, this time turning the head to the right. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. Left arm, right leg. Inhale. And exhale. One more each side. See if each time you can reach a little longer, reach a little higher. Very good. Exhale. Lower down. Slide your hands underneath your shoulders. Belly to spine. Pull back to downward dog. And then take a deep inhale. Float your right leg up. As you exhale, step it to the top of your mat. Spin your left heel down, left toes out, and inhale into your warrior one. Front knee is bent. Take a deep inhale. See if you can reach your fingertips a little higher. And as you exhale, belly, rib cage, turn towards the right knee. Deep inhale here. Exhale, hands down to the ground. Step back to downward dog or hands and knees. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, step it to the top of your mat. Right heel down, right toes out. Front knee is bent. Inhale, warrior one. Reach through your fingertips. Lift from the heart. And as you exhale, belly, belly button and chest turn towards the front leg. Exhale, lower down. And we'll build onto this flow, stepping back to downward dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale to step it to the top of your mat. Left heel down, left toes out. Your feet are on the same plane. Inhale, arms up. Belly to towards the front knee. Squeeze your left glute. And turn to face the long edge of your mat, moving into your warrior two. 
Inhale here. As you exhale, cartwheel the hands to the top of your mat. Step the right leg back to downward dog. Again, we can do all of this from hands and knees. Extend the left leg back. Step it to the top of your mat. Right foot down. Inhale, warrior one onto your left side. One more breath here. Squeeze your left glute. Turn to face the right side of your mat. Warrior two. Establish yourself into this pose. Connect with your breath. And as you exhale, cartwheel the hands to the top of your mat. Step your left leg back, downward dog. Before we continue building on this, take your knees down, sit bones to heels, and take a little bit of a breather into child pose. Feel free to put your forehead onto your mat if that is possible. If you have a cushion nearby, you can use a cushion. Take a couple of breaths here. One more inhale, and as you exhale, lift your hips up and back, downward dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale to step it to the top of your mat. Spin your left heel down, left toes out. Inhale, warrior one. Squeeze your right glute. Turn to face the left side of your mat. Inhale, arms, shoulders height, warrior two. Take a deep inhale here. Let's continue to add on. Exhale, right forearm to your right thigh. Inhale, your arm up and over. You can gaze towards the ceiling, towards the sky. Very good. On your next inhale, come back to your warrior two and cartwheel the hands to the top of your mat. Step your right leg back to downward dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale to step it to the top of your mat. Right heel down, right toes out. Inhale, warrior one. One more breath here to really feel that pulse into your body. And on your next inhale, taste, turn to face the long edge of your mat. Arms, shoulders height, warrior two. Inhale here as you exhale, left forearm onto your left thigh. Inhale, right arm up and over. Okay, get one nice breath here. Inhale, exhale, hands down, step the left leg back to downward dog. We'll keep on having inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step it to the top of your mat. Left heel down, left toes out, right knee on top of your ankle. Inhale, warrior one. Turn to face the long edge of your half mat. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle. Our next pose will be a balancing pose. So if balancing pose is not uh, something you care to do today, you can stay here and do some arm movement with following with the breath with your left arm. So you'll gaze up towards your fingertips, deep inhale here. As you exhale, follow your arms as you send it back towards your left leg. Inhale it back up. Follow the arm, follow the fingertips, and exhale, send it back. We'll do this one more time. Inhale the arm back up, and exhale, send it towards the leg. If you want to come into the balancing, you keep that hand onto your left hip. Inhale that right hand down to the ground. Hop onto your right leg, and float the left leg hip height. Start squeezing the right glute, stacking your left hip on top of right, left shoulder on top of right shoulder, and maybe reaching your left arm up. Sending your gaze towards your left fingertips, flexing that left ankle, coming into half moon. One more breath here. Bend that standing leg and send that foot, left foot towards the back of your mat, coming back into your warrior two. Inhale here as you exhale, cartwheel the hands to the top of your mat, step the right leg back to downward dog. Core and hands and knees. Inhale, left leg high, exhale, step it to the top of your mat, right heel down, right toes out, warrior one on your next breath. 
Exhale, belly towards the knee. Inhale, lift a little higher. Establish yourself in the pose. On your next inhale, turn to face the long edge of your mat. Inhale here, exhale, left forearm onto your left thigh. Inhale, reach that right arm up and over. Gaze towards your fingertips. Some of us will stay here, moving with the breath, moving with the arm. Inhaling, exhaling, right arm reach towards the back leg. Inhale it back up and forward. Exhale it down. Inhale it back. Exhale, send that right arm back towards the leg. For those of us going into the balancing right hand onto your right hip, reach the left hand down onto the ground ahead of the foot, hop onto your left foot and float the right leg up. Start stacking your right hip on top of left, right shoulder, squeeze the shoulder blades towards the back of your heart and reach the right arm up. Flex the ankle, create a container for your energy. Bend that standing leg, send that right foot to the back of your mat, come back into your warrior two. Exhale, cartwheel the hands to the top of the mat. Step your left leg back to downward dog. There, the inhale here as you exhale, knees to the ground, sit bones to the heels for child pose. Feel free to use your pillow or stacking your fists and placing your forehead onto your hands or onto your pillow. Take a couple more breaths here, noticing sensation in the body, spaces we may have created, tensions we may have released, without trying to change anything, we'll just keep breathing. On your next inhale, walk your hands towards your knees. Come to kneeling. Lift your sit bones away from your heels. Tuck your toes under, inhale. And as you exhale, sit back onto your heels. We'll stretch the toes, stretch the soles of our feet. Couple of breath here, hands onto your upper thighs. Crown of the head reaching up towards the sky. Very good. Coming back onto your hands and knees. Exhale to downward dog. Inhale, float your right leg up. And take that right knee behind your right wrist. Take your right foot towards the left side of your mat. If you have your cushion again nearby, you can slide it under your right thigh. We'll come into pigeon here. Coming onto your fingertips, squeeze the shoulder blades to your spine and towards the back of your heart. Leading with your heart here, take a couple of breaths. Hips are facing forward or down towards the ground. One more breath here. And then just rolling onto your right thigh, take that left leg forward and plant that foot just to the outside of your right thigh. Left arm behind you, inhale, take your right arm up. And as you exhale, right arm moves in front of the left leg or just hugging that left leg in. Inhale, sit tall and exhale, twist to the left. Each inhale, lengthen through the crown of the head. Each exhale, see if you can twist a little more allowing the head to follow. Very good. Returning back to our hands and knees or downward dog. We'll take that last knee towards our left wrist. Foot moves towards the right side. 
reach that right leg back. Come on to your fingertips to establish some support into your upper back. Shoulder blades hugging the spine and moving towards the back of your heart. Proud pigeon. Again, you can move that pillow under your left thigh. A couple of breaths here. Play here with sensation. Maybe a hugging the thighs together allows you to square the hips a little more. Maybe releasing the tightness of the glutes brings different sensation. Then remove the block or the cushion, roll onto your left thigh, take that right leg forward and on the other side of the left hip, right arm behind you, inhale left arm up, exhale to twist to the right. And again, inhale, lengthen the crown of the head up towards the sky and as you exhale, twist. Breathe deeply. Very good. Roll to face the front again. Uncross the leg. Stretch both legs out in front of you. Take a deep inhale. Float your arms up. And as you exhale, forward flow, leading with the heart, just allowing your hands to fall wherever they land. Inhale here, if you can lead, lead with your heart, hinging at the hips, and exhale, letting the head drop down. You can crawl your fingers forward if you have the space. Couple more breaths here. On your next inhale, rise up. Cross your legs. See if you can cross it with the other leg in front. So you start in one leg in front. See if you can make sure that the other leg uh, gets to have the chance to be in front every now and then too. You can sit on your pillow also to elevate your hips. We'll take a couple of deep inhale and exhale here. If your blood pressure is normal, you can lengthen your exhale safely. If you have low blood pressure already, you can let your breath be normal. So you'll close your eyes if you want, or you can allow your eyelids to be heavy. And we'll take a few breaths here, inhaling and exhaling through your nostrils. Taking a few breaths and allowing ourselves to feel what it is that we feel today and to be okay with that. Just feeling the body first, breathing in and out through your nostril, scanning the body from the top of the head right down to your toes. Just noticing parts of your body that may be tense, that may be holding tension. And whenever you're ready, you can lengthen your exhale. Try to stay connected with the breath and with sensation of the body and the mind. Try to resist the temptation of moving on to doing your to-do list. Just keep coming back to how you feel today in the body how you feel today in the mind.
Thank you for joining me today for yoga. You are welcome to take a five, maybe ten minutes Shavasana to end your practice. Stay safe, stay healthy, and be kind. Namaste. <laughs>